remove the wheel, use a 21 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. Take the wheel off. Take a 7 8 wrench or a 22 millimeter and loosen up the jam nut. Remove the cotter pin. You can use some side cutters. And slide it out. Take this castle nut off. Use a 17 millimeter socket. To separate the outer tie rod from the knuckle, you could use a punch and just hammer underneath to separate that or you can use a pickle fork, but if you use a pickle fork, you might damage the boot. And if you just use a hammer right here, you may damage the end of this if you're not replacing it. Because I'm replacing the outer tie rod end anyway, I'm just gonna use a pickle fork, sacrifice the boot. There you go. Now I'm gonna untwist the tie rod. Every time I loosen this, I'm gonna count the turns. So one, two, three, four, 18, 19. So write that number down, take some locking pliers and just secure the inner tie rod. Take this nut off, you can use a 22 millimeter socket. Take the jam nut off. Take this clamp off, you can use some hose clamp pliers or some needle nose pliers and just squeeze it. and slide it off. We wanna take this boot off and there's a clamp on the inside right here. If you take a pick and find where it attaches, where it's crimped down, you just get the pick in there. Just try to work it, work it open. Just gotta loosen it a little bit more. There we go. Pop it off and slide it down. We're gonna to need to use a tie rod removal tool, an inner tie rod removal tool, and take a 21 millimeter wrench. You can use the 21 millimeter wrench on the steering shaft itself, and then put the tool on. Find the right adapter that fits. There's a couple different types of tools. But this one will work. And before I loosen it, put that 21 millimeter wrench. There we go. And loosen it up. Pretty loose. You can take the tool off. And just slide it out. The new one comes with this lock washer. What it does is it has two little fingers that are gonna slide in those grooves right there. And then when we put this on, then we're gonna peen this over and that'll lock this and keep it in there safe but we're also going to use a little thread lock adhesive on here. Take this washer, slide it into those grooves, and get this started. Now put your tool back on. Line it up. Put the wrench on. And torque this to 58 foot-pounds. There we 
go. And slide that apart. Now from underneath the car, I'm just going to take a pry bar. I just need to peen this washer over a little bit where one of the flat ends is right there and give it a tap with a hammer. Get a little bit more. That looks good. And I'll do one more on the other side. You don't have to do all four corners. But just do that, and it's going to prevent it from loosening up. Now we'll take the boot, take this clamp off. I'm not going to reuse that. You can use a wire tie. Just find one that's going to fit around here. And don't tighten it up too much. Before I slide this on, I'm just going to take a little bit of grease and lubricate that. That's so it spins easily. And just slide this over the tie rod end. That's on. And tighten up on the wire tie. Use some side cutters. We can use some needle nose. Gonna cut off the excess. There we go. And take the clamp, slide in position. That's good right there. Put the jam nut on. Now take the outer tie rod and get it started and count the turns. So one, two, three, four, 17, 18, 19. Now slide the tie rod into the knuckle. Take the castle nut and get that started underneath. And torque this nut to 25 foot pounds. And see where the cotter pin hole is. And if it doesn't line up with the castle nut, tighten it a little bit more. Slide the cotter pin through the hole. Take your side cutters and bend it over. And trim the excess. Now tighten up this jam nut. And if you have the ability to torque this, torque it to 65 foot pounds. That's good. And if you have a new grease fitting, put the grease fitting in, get it started. And take a seven millimeter socket and just snug it down. Take a grease gun and give it a couple pumps of grease. That's good. Put the wheel on. And get the lug nuts started. Now I'm going to torque these lug nuts in a cross pattern to 80 foot pounds to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check.
After you're done this job, you want to keep in mind you should take the vehicle to a local garage to have it aligned so that you don't have premature tire wear.